Howdy everybody, Dr. Arlie Ann Scott here, owner and physical therapist with r Stream Motion Physical Therapy and Wellness in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where I specialize in helping performing artists of all levels transform their physical health so they can celebrate each day with movement. Today we're going to build off of what we talked about last week. Last week was a movement in the day challenge. We talked about lat length and um, how to determine whether or not lats are tight. And so today we're going to talk about addressing tight lats. So to quickly revisit what we did yesterday, last week, to look at lat length, we sat in this position against the wall, knees are close to the chest, and then to see if our lats are tight, a good way to test that is by dragging the fingertips up the wall, elbows are parallel, and then try to get them straight and close to the ears. If that's a struggle, then that means you likely have tight lats. So to address that, something you can do to help with that is just turn this into an exercise, do it re repeatedly. So that's one way to do it, but if you have tight lats, there's a good chance that's going to be pretty challenging. And so a way that you can still work on the tight lats, but that uh, do something that's not quite as challenging, is do something similar, except arms are flat against the wall this way, almost like you're going to make a snow angel. And then rotate the pinkies towards the wall, and then do the same thing, except making a snow angel motion. Our goal is to keep the arms flush against the wall the whole time. So try not to let the arms hover this way, that's cheating. Try to get them on the wall so you're touching the, hall, the wall the whole way through, up and down. That's a really good way to get that muscle of the lats to quiet a little bit so they're not so dominant. And as performing artists, um, sometimes th this is actually more common among aerialists, so people who use their arms a lot to have to support the weight of their body with their arms. Um, and gymnasts too actually oftentimes have uh, tight lats. So um, if this sounds like you or a friend, you should tag them because this is going to be beneficial for them. So again, we talked about this last week. If you don't have full motion through your arms overhead, what happens is your actual shoulder joint has to work harder and that can increase risk for injury of the shoulder. So this is a super good way to minimize risk of injury at the shoulder. So give it a try. Let me know how it goes and celebrate the rest of your day with movement. Thank you.